The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests or callers of this show do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Radio Dihari's. The content broadcast on this show is meant for informational and entertainment purposes only. After months of screen time and no play dates, the Children's Discovery Museum is open for Purple Play Days of Summer. It's time to rediscover the wonder. Climb on the fire engines, splash around in the waterworks, blow bubbles and scale the tree climber in Bill's backyard. Oodles of hands-on arts and culture, STEM, health and nature-themed exhibits await your family. The Giant Purple Museum is open every day, Wednesday through Sunday. Reservations are required at cdm.org. That's cdm.org. जब हमारे परिवार के बुजुर्गों की सेहत और देखभाल की बात होती है तो घर पर इन होम केयर वाला ऑप्शन सबसे बढ़िया है ऑन लॉक का पेस प्रोग्राम एक ऐसा कन्वीनियंट एंड पर्सनलाइज्ड ऑप्शन है जिसके जरिए हमारे बुजुर्ग घर पर हमारे साथ रहकर यही देखभाल और सेवा का लाभ उठा सकते हैं अब चाहे वो घर पर रहे या ऑन लॉक वाले पेस सेंटर में आए उनको वही डेडिकेटेड एंड प्रोफेशनल केयर मिलेगी ऑन लॉक ने बुजुर्गों की सेहत को अपना प्रायोरिटी बना लिया है और जानने के लिए वन एट फाइव फाइव थ्री जीरो एट जीरो वन नाइन फाइव पे कॉल करें दैट्स वन एट फाइव फाइव थ्री जीरो एट जीरो वन नाइन फाइव Top of the morning bay with good morning bay. Get to know about the traffic on your way and what's news around the world today. Some wisdom skills along the way. Oh, and a song to hum along with and sway. Get your perfect entertaining start to the day. At 9 a.m. every weekday morning with Mahima's, Mahima's Good Morning Bay. Good morning. आपसे मिलेगा आपके प्यारे महिमा के द्वारा मैं फालतू बाबा एंड ऑफकोर्स माई सेल्फ फालतू रानी लेकर आपके लिए एक और ड्राइव टाइम मस्तानी Huh. The number is 669 million dollars. What is that? That's a number. That's the Powerball lottery somebody won after won? 40 failed or wait after 40 unclaimed um uh, uh, um numbers. Ha uh-huh. ha. Finally somebody won. Wow. Six, somebody is 669 million dollars richer. Oh my god somebody i don't know who nobody knows it's, it's a secret but it's a best case scenario of course even somebody will know for sure and of course they don't get the whole amount huh. if they get like 40% take off huh. and then 50% goes towards the state as suppose schooling and everything huh. and then remaining what over my 300 million for the ready ha I'm thinking I should change. I just wish my... they would donate 10 million to Pragya for I, uh... I I just even if they give 1 million it's enough So I want 10 million. 1 million is fine. Because I have a plan. Because 10 million you need for that project that we have in mind. Yeah, so <laughs> I actually thought of 1 million. Okay. Uh, and uh, 1 million should be sufficient to start off our journey. Yeah, that's true actually. Mhm. Yeah. That's and true. And yes, Bernard, if you have the if you are listening to our new one the lottery Think about it, yeah. You get tax write off also, by the way. <laughs> and yes, uh, uh, again, that's a good thing, and right? And we will name the the whole project in your name. Why not? That's yeah. that's quite doable, Falta. We should actually yeah. try. You know what we should do, Falta? Ready? Hmm. Uh, calling our video. Okay, the first well, one thing you should know, Balajan, Powerball, Water Lotteries, and all. They don't announce the winners. Huh. It's uh, supposed to be kept a secret because, as you guys know, people who won lot win lotteries, they don't keep the money with them. They uh, they get embezzled most uh-huh. of the time. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And of course, they don't get paid like you know a lump sum. Huh. They get paid like a salary. Like, wow! You know, every year they get paid so much, kind of a thing. Wow! So, by the way, if you actually are one of those people who want it, <laughs> think of it. Poor people like me are waiting here. <laughs> but anyway, unfortunately, I don't gamble, so I would not have gone and taken the thing. But anyway, six hundred and six. Ah, oh, that's quite a huge number. Yeah. I think last time I remember, um, they did the Powerball for eight hundred fifty million. Okay, why are we talking about that right now? Because I just want to start you off with a good uh, note, brother Jansi. People can win the kind of stuff, right? Huh? And one more good note, father. You know what? What? Finally, the final frontier. What is that? A oh 90, yes, yes, the yes. The ninety-year-old Shatner is going. William Shatner. That's what I was reading. Blue Origins, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's going with Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about it. Remember yesterday? Yeah. And he took it up seriously. I'm telling you, brother, no. Bollywood. He, the he, Hollywood also listens to us. Alto Baba. What? The news broke yesterday. 
I know, but when we, we talked about we talked about yesterday, only, right? Yeah. Yesterday in the morning, we talked about people who want to go want to go to space. They can go take a thing trip that way. Right, right. And he finalized the deal yesterday itself. Can you imagine a ninety-year-old man going into space right now? Why not? He doesn't look ninety, by the way. Well, of course, with all the money he has. Yeah, that's, that's good. True. Anyway, Manjit, right now that was uh, the uh, little bit of thing to start your day off with. But how about now go check out on what's happening in just to depress you more? Ha! <laughs> just kidding, well done. Just take a hard sister bag. It's time for the Bandu Traffic Update. Call us from wherever you are at 408-912-2479. Adhani, I told you it's a good day. Always you must start the day off with good news like this, Adhani. From somebody winning lottery and all that stuff. Right. Now everybody have to be kind to the other person they know. God. You know why? Why? You never know. They might be the person who won the lottery. <laughs> You don't need that as a reason, Mujan. You just it's, have to be it's kind. It's still fine. I know it's okay, but some, sometimes some people require some motivation. Well, <laughs> the roads are looking wonderful, Mujan. As in, there's not much of accident to report. You guys uh, save something in the north and somewhere towards the south, Mujan. Saratoga, ke aas pass me on a on the 17, 880, sorry, 85 actually. There's a fire reported on 85 northbound near Saratoga Avenue. Watch out for the driver very carefully. Um, there's not impacting traffic. The CHP is on the scene. That's good news. They're going to getting the fire under control, Mujan. Up north, if you Look at northbound 101, south of the uh, BAT Road in Brisbane. The right lane is affected. Um, it's not a big backlog. It's just a one small backlog because of the it's stopping of traffic over there because of a tight incident or that. That's a, that's about it. And otherwise, weather is awesome. Yes, but it's kind of cloudy right now. We you know what? I felt the weather also was totally you know in sync with us for our event. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was so <laughs> perfect. It was hot, of course, in the morning, but later on it was also perfect. But now clouds are setting in. Father, you know, people are planning all these things. It's going to be cloudy and might even rain. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's right, Brunjan. But that was your traffic update and everything. But right now, Father, I we're ready for our bandhus news and everything. Yes, Father. You yeah. sure you're ready, Father? Yes. You're sure, hundred percent. Yes. Guaranteed. Okay, fine. I will take your word for it if you say you're ready, Father, because you know what? <coughs> I think we are ready for the Brunjan. So right now, we're going to go check out what's happening with the news. And news, Kelly Brunjan, we had to go to our news desk media of media by Hima, where Father is ready with the news for you guys. That's right. Well, from across the United States and locally here in the Bay Area, these are your news in a brief brought to you by Radio D. Hotty Spanjan, a production of Media Mahima. And you can catch this every single morning here with your cup of joe or your cup of tea, whatever you want to um, enjoy. And you get it based your on your tea. Yeah. <laughs> and you can enjoy with your darling daddies right here on Radio D. Hotties. And of course, Bajan, as starting yesterday, we're going to have have a word which Faltroni is going to share with us, which is going to be something which can increase your uh, vocabulary. Right, Faltroni? <laughs> what? What do you have today? I don't have anything. Okay, so fine. Stop. Read something from India. A statement from Shashi Tharoor about Shah Rukh Khan's son again. <laughs> we'll come with that. U.S. lawmakers pounded Facebook on Tuesday, accusing CEO Mark Zuckerberg of pushing for higher profits while being cavalier about user safety, and they demanded regulators investigate whistleblower alleg- um, allegations and accusations that the social media company harms children and stokes divisions. Coming a day after Facebook and its units, including Instagram suffered a major outage. Whistleblower Francis Hogan uh, testified in a congressional hearing that for more than five hours, Facebook wasn't used to deepen divides, destabilize democracies, and make young girls and women feel bad about their bodies. Um, And uh, Facebook says, uh, though, uh, that um, uh, right now their uh, conversation is that... um, the outage uh, co- was caused due to a faulty configuration uh, change on its routers as the root cause uh, um, and that was mainly the root cause for the six hour outage that prevented the company's 3.5 billion users from accessing its social media and messaging services. Our engineering teams have learned um, that the configuration changes on the backbone routers that coordinate network traffic between our data centers uh, caused issues that interrupted this communication. Facebook finally said in a blog post. <clears throat> and uh, of course, Punjan, um, uh, let's uh, also tell you one of the things that uh, uh, Facebook 
uh, is coming under a lot of fire for um, at Capitol Hill is the fact that uh, they are stoking these divisions, right? Especially with that whole whistleblower uh, stuff that happened. And remember our ABCT, Al Tubaba Conspiracy Theory, mm-hmm. that right after that, uh, the whistleblower's complaint uh, hit the big time, uh, all of a sudden Facebook servers are down. Why? What are they trying to wipe out? <laughs> kind of thing. Right? I'm telling you, something is there, Faldoni. Did you know also about what's happening around the world right now? There's a meme circulating about how Mark Zuckerberg actually fixed it, the whole fact about it. Yeah. How he went about fixing it, how it got fixed. How? Yeah, you don't know about that? No. Oh, there's a huge meme about that, Fatwani. What? And I would love to share that with Abadi if you give me permission, Fatwani. Okay, please, go ahead. Okay, but then this is the thing. Actually, if you look at it, if you actually go into the uh, thing, there is a um, uh, meme about how uh, our uh, Zuckerberg actually has uh, fixed the, uh, you know, internet. Right? <laughs> what did he do? What are they showing? He has restarted the internet, I believe. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh God, this is Seriously, so stupid. That's, that's, is that a great you know, thing? How <laughs> yeah, they, well, I, he just cut off all the wires? He cut what off all nonsense. the wires. That's what he did. When he went to fix it, he said like, oh yes, everything ready, sir. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> you don't don't feel... This is all reporting, actual reporting from people. That's what Facebook is all about, right? Huh. Everybody becomes a newscaster. Huh. Well, either way, uh, let's tell you, in an area where bipartisanship is rare on Capitol Hill, Punjab lawmakers from both parties totally excoriated uh, the nearly $1 trillion company in a hearing that exemplified the rising anger in Congress uh, with Facebook amid numerous demands for legislative reforms. As lawmakers criticized Facebook and Zuckerberg, the company's spokespeople fought back on Twitter, arguing Hogan did not re- directly work on some of the issues that she was being questioned on. Senate Commerce Subcommittee Chair Senator Richard Blumenthal, a Democrat, said Facebook knew that its products were addictive, like cigarettes. A tech now faces that big tobacco jaw-dropping moment of truth. Ah, speaking of tobacco and everything, when vaping right now, it's got to be problematic. People are not problematic, they're more difficult to afford. Why? Yeah, they actually increased the excise tax on but to 12.5 percent. Yes. And you know what the thing is? Uh, this is what Gavin just admitted. So I really appreciate that part of it. But the initiative was to try to see. No, it would be more interesting. The initiative was so that school kids don't vape. use it. Uh-huh. But could you, did you know that actually it's illegal for school kids to vape, but they still are vaping? Yeah. That's why they're trying to get this uh, tax up and everything. So I don't know. Anyway, I hope it works. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the kids are not just vaping regular stuff. They're vaping marijuana. <gasps> Yeah. How do you get all this juice, Faltori? You're like total awesome. My goodness. Yes. You have. You seem to be having your, you know, finger on all the, you know, the ghee jars. <laughs> what? Whatever. No. What? No. I don't know what you. Sorry, you ghee I'm oh. sorry. I'm an Indian guy. I'm from a culture of India. Are you India. insinuating something here? I'm just saying that you're greasy fingers. Oh, whatever. Explains why you can't hold on to things. Also, just slips off. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna shift focus from Al Baba to President Joe Biden. I'm oh yeah, yeah, Joe Biden. I got something else. Joe Biden also. Continue, continue. President Joe Biden will hit the road on Tuesday to try to shift the spotlight from uh, the wrangling within uh, his uh, Democratic Party over his huge social spending package to its potential benefits for a wide swath of Americans. Hey, come on, it will benefit Americans. Yeah, that's what it is. I do believe that it will benefit Americans. Well, squabbling Democratic moderates and progressives dealt Biden a major setback last week when they failed to move ahead with his proposed $1 trillion infrastructure bill or the planned $3.5 trillion social spending bill, which could now face cuts. The president will visit Michigan to continue rallying public support for both initiatives, the White House said. Uh, He wants to go out there and talk about the components and the piece uh, of these bills that will make people's lives better, even as we're having very important conversations about legislative logistics here, White House spokesperson Jen Psaki said uh, to reporters. A U.S. appeals court has rejected a challenge by four states to... um, state and local tax caps. A federal appeals court on Tuesday rejected this challenge um, to limit federal deductions on uh, state and local taxes. In a 3 to uh, 0 decision, the second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in Manhattan said that the federal government had authority to impose a $10,000 cap on the state and local taxes that households itemizing deductions could write off 
their federal returns. The decision is a defeat for New York, Connecticut, Maryland and New Jersey, which challenged the so-called SALT cap implemented as part of a $1.5 trillion tax overhaul in 2017. The law also cut taxes for wealthy Americans and slashed the uh, corporate tax rate. Uh, Trump signed it following approval on a party line vote from the Republican controlled Congress. A U.S. Capitol Police have arrested a man who parked a suspicious vehicle outside the Supreme uh, Court. Um, After an unsuccessful effort to negotiate with the man, tactical teams moved in and placed him under arrest. Operational Services Bureau Deputy Chief Jason Bell told a news conference. The man's motive was unclear to the police. He refused to speak except to make a statement to the effect of it's the time for talking is done. I thought he was going to say it's time to disco. <laughs> no, time for disco, it seems. Time for disco. That's what he would have said. Ah. Uh, so at this time, no weapons have been found, he said. Uh, Capitol uh, Police have identified the suspect as Dale Paul Melvin, who is a 55 year old man from Kimball in Michigan. Uh, President Joe Biden is also blaming Republicans on stonewalling on the debt ceiling and he is saying they are in risking a U.S. default. Uh, Senate Republicans led by Mitch uh, McConnell have twice in recent weeks blocked action to raise the debt ceiling, saying they do want action but will not help by voting for the move. Republicans say Democrats can use that parliamentary maneuver known as budget reconciliation to act alone. Remember I talked about the petulant that's what's going on here. Ah, petulance, Belgian. The word for today is petulance. <laughs> petulance means. <laughs> you go figure it out, Belgian. You go figure it out. Petulance yeah. means you go figure it out. No, you... it does not. Then? What is petulant? Don't you know what petulant hey, is? Today we are giving them words, Father. No, I'll do a word. Enriching them. Come on, kids all listen to our show sometimes. <clears throat> okay. Oh, they're supposed to be in school, right? Yeah. Yeah. In the meanwhile, let's also tell you, Bandhan, AstraZeneca has requested emergency approval from U.S. Uh, regulators for its antibody cocktail, the first protective shot other than vaccines against COVID-19, another potential major step in the global fight to combat the coronavirus. And now that they call it cocktail, people are more open to actually taking it. <laughs> It's not a naming difference. Oh God. While vaccines rely on an intact immune system to develop uh, targeted antibodies and infection fighting cells, Astra's biotech compound known as AZD7442 contains lab made antibodies designed to linger in the body for months to contain the virus in case of an infection. A judge says Donald Trump can be deposed in a former apprentice contestant's lawsuit. A New York state judge on Monday gave former U.S. President uh, Donald Trump a 20, uh, December 23rd deadline to undergo questioning in a defamation lawsuit filed by a former contestant on The Apprentice after he denied her sexual assault accusations. Hmm. Uh, Justice Jennifer Schechter of the New York uh, State Court in uh, Manhattan said Trump must submit a deposition, submit to a deposition, after his lawyer said Trump planned to counter sue his accuser, Summer Zervos, under a state law designed to encourage free speech. Schechter uh, ruled after a conference um, where the planned counter suit was announced and lawyers for Trump and Zervos accused their opponents of stalling. <coughs> And in local news in the Bay Area, Bandhan, an Oakland activist um, and um, was killed in a home invasion over the uh, weekend. Oakland activists and community members are mourning the death of a well-known local activist, um, uh, Dirk Tillotson, who was uh, killed in an yet another violent weekend in the city. Police uh, were initially investigating the situation as a home invasion, but uh, say that it could be something else at this point. To Lotson's neighborhood in Oakland was quiet today as a possible reflection of the sorrow felt by his neighbors who grew to know him well and his activism well. He championed education equity and founded an Oakland and New York based nonprofit organization called Great School Choices with his friend Paul Lay. Uh, climate is in a uh, crisis, Bandajan, and um, let us tell you that. Um, Wednesday is the fourth annual California Clean Air Day, during which residents are encouraged to take action, big or small, to reduce air pollution. 
Um, to help reduce air pollution, you can plant a tree, reduce a vehicle use, or switch to more earth-friendly options like buying local or using all-natural cleaning products. Several transit agencies across the Bay Area will offer free rides today. Average uh, Oakland resident uh, commutes about 60 minutes round trip each day. If we had 200,000 people bike to work for just one day, it's like taking the carbon monoxide out of the air equal to 7,000 trees apparently wow yeah and uh, finally a South Bay program is aiming to eliminate homelessness for families by 2025 Santa Clara County officials in uh, collaboration with nonprofit housing partners and the city of San Jose are looking to house 1200 homeless families within the next year the program is called heading home wow that's very nice that's a good thing initiative the california is doing a lot of things good things but if you want to know more about that you can go check it out on the news blog media mahima.com we try to keep it relevant for you guys and keep it simple as in keeping local but remember of course having a, a global uh view about things, Parajan. Mm-hmm. And right now, we're going to get to the global news in a few minutes, Parajan. So, pehle, I'm sure Fatani wants me to take a break. Yes, of Gane Gane the Gane Akira. And Parajan, this is the Gane Akira. I'll end up for you guys from the movie. Uh, <laughs> Bajarangi Bajai, Parajan. Selfie Lele! Three thumbs composition, Parajan. Lyrics, of course, by his friend, Amitabh Bhattacharya. Oh, I'm sorry, Mayuri Puri. Mayur Puri, sorry. It listens for the Jalada Jalada. Interestingly, Salman Khan ka is Eid pe koi release nahi aaya na? Generally, every Eid releases something or the other. Like this particular released in 2015, but Jeffrey, do you remember this? It's our Vishal Dadladi Bhattacharya, a wonderful, powerful voice for this music. Now, Bhattacharya, the rap comes up off Bhatsha. I don't know why they had to put it anyways, but... Enjoy the song, my John. Come on, Bacha, get up and listen again. And we'll be back with the global news. Salve, da salve, le le re. Banda me si da sa da na te da na ti na me. Mere che sa na ho ka chand me na chi na me. Kya mahi jo man ko aaya par kabi kisi ka bhi dil na dukaya. Man par dil haluman ji ki bandi me. तू ही पढ़ाई मेरी तू ही संगीमा तू मेरे साथ घर हो एंड ऑफ़ कॉम बजन आ फादर इज गेटिंग रियल रियली इम्पेशन बिकॉज़ शी इज गोट द न्यूज़ लाइक आ वेरी गुड गोट द न्यूज़ गोट द न्यूज़ फादर इवे गोट द न्यूज़ डोंट वरी बट द माय गुडनेस ओके बजन हियर यू गो दिस इज योर वर्ल्ड न्यूज़ � Taiwan says that it needs to be alert to over-the-top military activities by uh, China after a record 56 uh, Chinese aircraft flew into uh, the Taiwan's air defense zone while the president said the island would do what it will take to defend itself. Taiwan has reported 148 Chinese Air Force planes in the southern and southwestern part of its air defense zone over a four-day period beginning on Friday, the same day that China marked a key patriotic holiday called the National Day. Mm-hmm. And China is claiming Taiwan as its own territory, which should be taken by force if necessary. Taiwan says it's an independent country and will defend its freedoms and democracy, blaming China for the tensions. So what does Kim Jong-un say about this? 
I have no idea. <laughs> Why Kim Jong Un is in North Korea? I'll do a ba. Yeah, but what do you say? Come on, they all the same thing, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I don't think he's. I I, I think he's. It's the biggest. Uh, I don't think it is him. Oh my God. His comeback is it? Have you seen photographs of him? Well, um, in the EU summit is actually reacting to this particular thing. The European Union's 27 leaders will seek a new approach to China on Tuesday in their first summit on Sino-European strategy since the bloc imposed sanctions on Beijing in March and faced retaliation, uh, jeopardizing a new investment pact. I'm uh, sorry, this is actually just they're just bullying China. Sorry, it's like you know, say no to China. They are not bullying China. China yeah, yeah. is inter- they're saying say no to China. That's all. That's all the whole thing. They got a catchphrase and they want to stick with that. No, I think it's. Come on, What is wrong with uh, these people? You know, seriously. Did you hear what I said? I said they are re-evaluating yeah, their yeah. strategy. No, you're saying that they didn't say yes to them, huh? Yeah, because China is retaliating, and leaders will also discuss the idea of setting up a EU gas reserve and decoupling electricity prices from gas prices. The European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen uh, said on Tuesday, although it'll only be a first debate. I'm. I already am missing. You know, Merkel. Huh? I'm already missing Merkel. Well, you know the party that won, right? They yeah. still haven't been able to form a coalition government. Oh, really? Yeah, they they've been meeting in uh, Germany too. Uh, they've been meeting with uh, different uh, suitors, so to speak, uh-huh, who will uh-huh. form government with them, but they still haven't made a decision. Um, speaking, speaking of Germany, Falcon, did you know about that Germany has the best laws for dogs? I didn't know that. Did you know about that? No. Oh. They have the best laws for students too. Education is free. Hey, yeah, you know, I believe it's called dog heaven there. What? Yeah, it's called dog heaven there. Why? So basically, the dogs allowed anywhere and everywhere. Wow. Yes, I'm not kidding. And actually, it's unlike over here, they have regulations for all the dogs. They got to be healthy. They got to be, uh, you know, all those things. Care taking part of it. And there's regulations for how long you can put them in the crate also. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Oh, that is so awesome. <laughs> yeah, and it's like interesting. But of course, you got to make sure you get them to training and all the stuff. That's something that you got to do. But that's what they claim. Something new you learn every day, Bhanujan. Uh, so yeah, I can't help it. But like actually, going to this kind of you know world political news, uh, those don't they're very really so dry for me. In, in I go in, click on other things. So if somebody <laughs> somebody says the country is going to dogs in Germany, it's a good thing. It's a oh, dude, <laughs> I would say it's a good thing around the world. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Dogs are really good, Bhanujan. Trust me, I go to dogs. I am. I am going. I have gone to dogs actually. In the meanwhile, <laughs> speaking of dogs Figure and going to dogs, pity. communist leader asks Putin to call off a party crackdown and voting reforms. The leader of Russia's Communist Party uh, has accused authorities of persecuting his party's activists and carrying out reforms to the voting system that imperil political stability. In a rare message of dissent addressed to President Vladimir Putin. What an irony, right? The Communist Party asking. <laughs> That's so cool. No, uh, because he's turning out to be a fascist. Uh, excuse me, he is. Uh, first of all, the way he's ruling the country is like a communist country. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's his country, right? It's democratic communist country. No, it's not a communist <laughs> country, man. He's ruling ruling the country like a dictator. That's true. We're very close to them, but anyways, I don't know what's going to happen. What happened now, Nifal Pani? Well, wait. Authorities cracked down on Gennady Zyuganov's Communist Party last month after Moscow activists rallied twice in protest against an electronic voting system that they say robbed several of their allies of victory at a parliamentary election. Police said the protests were illegal due to COVID-19 safety measures, and authorities rejected allegations of foul play by the online voting system. Mm. So, uh, the Communist Party is ostensibly the biggest opposition force in Parliament, but it often supports Putin on key areas of policy and has long been accused of soft peddling its opposition within a tightly controlled system of. Managed democracy. Wow, okay. isn't that interesting? Managed democracy, exactly what uh, Trump tried here. Yeah. And you guys gave Trump a hard time. My goodness. Oh Lord. Seriously. Anyway, um, there's some disturbing news from France, uh, Bandhujan. Um, French clergy apparently sexually abused more than two hundred thousand children. Over the past 70 years, a major investigation um, is revealing uh, that has been revealed uh, released on Tuesday, uh, and its author said the Catholic Church turned a blind eye to the scourge for a very long time. I don't know. Sometimes I think you know, it totally. Sh- but I still don't know how they are still able to maintain uh, the presence of the people after all this. 
uh, the victims going through all the stuff and it's really his bad brother i think it's it gives a lot of trauma for the people who have been through it they're saying that the church had shown deep total and even cruel indifference for years protecting itself rather than the victims of what was systemic abuse said jean marc mm. sauve uh, the head of the commission that compiled the report most of the victims were boys he said many of them aged between 10 and 13 years of age also My boys goodness. Kind of and this is uh, a few years ago right Yeah. It's From 70 years, 200,000 children. Oof. My god. Anyway, um <coughs> Congress, so what are they going to do about it? I don't know. Uh what exactly do you want me to get into details over there? No, thank okay. you. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. It's fine. But if you want to catch the details, you can go to the website mediamahima.com. Follow me. Uh, Congress case? General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vadra on uh, Tuesday alleged that the Uttar Pradesh police has not communicated the circumstances or sections under which she has been charged 38 af- uh, hours after she was initially detained. Um, Priyanka Gandhi released a statement claiming that she has not been served with any order of notice and that she is being illegally confined is what they're saying. Uh, and uh, speaking of uh, illegal confinements, uh, there is an update on uh, Shah Rukh Khan's son, Aryan Khan. Um, the update is that uh, the arrest of uh, Shah Rukh Khan's uh, son, Aryan Khan, concerning the Mumbai cruise ship bust with the NC- NCB, extending the custody of the star kid has also led the investigations to widen more. Four more people have been arrested in this particular case. Uh, now the buzz is that the co-founder of the event management company, Namaskre, um, associated with the luxury cruise, has also been arrested. Um, and uh, the if you want to read the full story, of course, you can go to uh, mediamahima.com. But um, it is... Uh, being said that along with co-founder being arrested there have also been reports that apart from the rigorous grilling and joint interrogation with friend Abbas Merchant on alleged links to peddlers the NCB has claimed a link with arrested drug peddler Shreyas Nair apparently Shreyas has alleged uh, supply allegedly supplied drugs to 25 passengers uh, drugs were probably brought in by cryptocurrency is what they're saying wow you know I think I think it's on Namaskar it's, it's N Maskare Oh, I see what you did there. No, I think it's that. I thought uh, they seem to be uh, one of those uh, high-flying, uh, even imagine for only for the big kids, right? Yeah. They're not big on rich kids, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, all the, the maskri they do. Mm. The annual Durga Puja festival uh, and carnival has been cancelled in uh, West Bengal. Uh, and finally, uh, the Congress delegation led by Rahul Gandhi is going to be visiting the Lakhimpur district tomorrow um, to actually demand autopsies on the farmer as well who was mm. killed. So more on all these stories you'll ki- find on MediaMahima.com. Marijan, that's all we have time for on this morning's Good Morning Bay. We'll be back tonight live at 5 on the Pam Pam Show. Don't forget to tune in then. Have yourselves a terrific Tuesday. Hi, this is Vishal. You're listening to me on Radio Dhe Khwati, where entertainment just got harder. Rangi pa road avi, khushi yo sanghe lavi, har ghae hai yo hai, hai. Rangi pa road avi, khushi yo sanghe lavi, har ghae hai yo hai, hai. Aajani ke lo vikhraai.